We had four months to go before the November election and a referendum vote. One of the companies behind the New England Clean Energy Connect Corridor is upping the ante. Good evening, I'm Rob Caldwell. And I'm Amanda Hill. Pat and Cindy both have the night off. Now, ever since it was first proposed, the corridor has been a lightning rod for criticism. Most of it would be built along an existing central main power corridor, but the last section from the forks to the Canadian border would cut through undeveloped woodland. That's the part of the project that concerns environmental groups. Other critics say since the line goes through Maine, Mainers should be able to get power from it directly. Today it was announced some of them will. New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan is in Augusta with more on what Hydro-Quebec is doing to sweeten the deal. Don? Hi, Rob and Amanda. And sweetening the deal is a, seems to be a pretty good way to phrase it. The Governor Mills calls the agreement announced today significant. One of the ongoing complaints about the CMP corridor project, as you mentioned, has been that Maine does not get direct access to the new electricity coming in from Quebec. Today, the deal announced seems to change that. Hydro-Quebec says it will use all of the extra space on that transmission line to sell power directly to Maine. More than a year ago, Governor Mills announced her support for the CMP corridor project, saying it would help reduce carbon emissions and help the climate. There was also about $240 million of incentives, payments by CMP and Hydro-Quebec over 40 years. But that has not reduced opposition. So the governor asked Hydro-Quebec for more. And at that point, I asked her uh, to have a conversation with her. So our team, her team, uh, sat down and I wanted to understand what was uh, her driver and what did she really want to achieve for her people. Sophie Brochu is the new CEO of Hydro-Quebec and says she and Mills and their staffs agreed that the company, owned by the province of Quebec, would sell additional power to Maine at a discount. This type of agreement uh, I do Quebec has never made in the past. We wanted to make sure that Maine people would be able to say whatever the market price will be, will be better. And that's what, that's what we put on the table and this is how we conceive this discount, embedded discount on, on the market price. The deal calls for selling 500,000 megawatt hours per year the governor's office says that's enough for 70,000 homes. Maine will get a $4 discount on each of those hours, Brochu says. Corridor opponents say they're not impressed and claim the discount would only amount to 12 cents on a $100 electric bill. It seems very small um, for the fanfare that it is, this announcement is getting, um, especially when you look at the fact that, you know, uh, just this last week, there was a $2.50 increase in the average monthly bill of main rate payers from Central Maine Power's um, rate increase. Corridor supporters claim the deal would actually reduce the cost of electricity by 12 percent. The governor's energy office says not all customers will see that discount, that it depends on which wholesaler buys the electricity from the state and for them, it would be a $2 million savings. And the big question now is whether the New Deal can build more support for the project Governor Mills says will have long-term benefits to Maine despite so much controversy. So it clearly appears that the question of the actual financial benefit to customers is going to remain in dispute over the next few months right up to Election Day. There is another piece to the agreement. Uh, Hydro-Quebec is promising to speed up payments of $170 million to the state, money that would pay for things like expanding heat pumps, broadband and uh, rate relief for low-income Maine residents. That is, would be part of the $240 million already agreed to with the PUC uh, for, uh, for benefits to Maine. All of this, of course, hinges on what happens in November, whether the corridor project is approved or defeated by Maine voters. Robin, Amanda, back to you.